All right, go ahead. Hi, I'm Jim Overman. I've taught 41 years as a teacher, eight years here in uh, 501, and I'm a combination of all the in services. I know teachers, when they come to in services, go, well, what's this one about? So several of those in services have allowed me to grow as a teacher, but the one that I probably stole the most from was when I was in the first in Kansas, which I taught there for 30 years was this brain-based learning program that the district made all the teachers take. And so during our planning periods or collaboration, we would go to the high school office, and they had a group from Canada coming in that introduced us to how if you teach to the brain, you're gonna get results. And one of the first things I got from that was this method called 10-24-7, where when you give kids an opening quiz, they're not going to score as high. It's the first time they've heard the information. So that's 10 minutes after you've talked about the subject on that day that you give that quiz. The 24 is like 24 hours later. The brain needs time to absorb things, so the next time you see them, you give them the same quiz. And then Seven is a week later, seven days. So they know that once you teach a topic, you go back to it, you never forget it. Of course, me being a history teacher, I'm kind of partial to the past. So we go as fast as the kids absorb the information. So I have all different kinds of learners in my classroom with four different learning styles. I got that from the service too, and I've used that. So this 10, 24, seven, the kid has three quizzes, all the same quizzes. One the day of, one the next time I see him, and one a week later, and I can use that data to see who's getting the information and who doesn't understand it. Plus, if I have some student that's absent, uh, I may only have two quiz scores, and I collect my data on how well they did on the first one and how they end up on the last one. So my class is set up to teach to the brain. And so color is involved, so I have an interactive notebook they take with the Cornell notes. And uh, when they uh, do the interactive notebook, they, on the left side of every page, handouts go, we highlight, circle the text, uh, like we do in Apple. By the way, when I came to this history, Avid just went right along with brain-based learning, so I like Avid quite a bit. But the main thing is engaging the kids, getting them to enjoy the subject matter. And what I liked from uh, Avid is the Socratic seminars where you engage them, where they discuss things, and then we have a quick write. And then we do group work, which they now call Kagan, which was quality learning when I was younger. And when you use those methods, you can break up those periods. So therefore, I, I'm a person that likes to block day because I can break the period up into three sections or two sections and have more time to talk about it. Where the 50 minute period just goes way too fast, so I have to arrange things on the shorter periods. But my data is...